Google's Firebase announced that they were deprecating dynamic links August 25th, 2025, I decided to build my own URL shortener to make sure I don't run into this again. Some quick research immediately landed me on schlink.io. Schlink is an open source URL generator that allows you to self-host the service. It's written in PHP and uses Swole, which is the web server Schlink uses to serve all of the requests. And it takes advantage of some C++ powered native binding to handle a lot of throughput very quickly. And my thinking here was that we would just be able to stick this on a standard 2x Heroku instance, and we would have our own URL shortener tied to our own domain that we own. To launch this, I used Heroku's Docker container registry and the following Docker file. It's very simple to get it up onto the Heroku container registry and get it launched and hosted live. We'll just use the Heroku CLI and their container colon push. We're going to have this registered as a web service and the application name here. That'll get the container pushed and built, ready to go on your Heroku account. And at this point, you just need to release the built image that Heroku just made for you by using the Heroku container release command. Here are all of the environment variables I have set up. Most notably, we had to add our database URL here from our Postgres instance that we're using with Heroku as well. The DB driver specifying Postgres, the DB host, which is just going to be whatever is in the DB URL environment variable when you attach your Postgres instance to Heroku. And then the initial API key is something that you can set here. And this is how your service will be able to securely communicate with our Schlink instance. And I just generated that using OpenSSL. And to generate that, I just ran OpenSSL, RAND, and I'm passing in the hex flag here, 32, to get a 32-byte secure string that we can use for this inner service communication that will just pass in the header of each request that we make to our Schlink server. To test that Schlink is working and ready for us to start converting long URLs to short URLs, we can demonstrate this by making a curl request in the terminal here. And we're just hitting the rest slash v3 slash short URLs endpoint of Schlink. We're passing in our API key, specifying that this is an application JSON request. And we're just specifying that the long URL is whatever our long URL is. And it should return a short URL version of that. We got some extra information back. But what we're really interested in is this short URL value here. So if we copy that into our browser here, it should redirect to the long URL. And you can see that it's working. And that's why when 